Hi, this is Squat. In this video, I want to tell you about the major histocompatibility complex. This is MHC and it's also called HLA. There are two major types. Here is one. This is the MHC1 and it displays a piece of molecule here's another one this is MHC2 it also displays a piece of molecule almost all cells have MHC1 but only the professional antigen presenting cells like macrophages have MHC2 MHC complex talk to lymphocytes and here is a T cell with CD8 protein on the side and this complex here is the T cell receptor and here is another T cell with the T cell receptor and another molecule on the side and that molecule is CD4 CD8 T cells bind to MHC1. This is because T cell receptor recognizes this MHC antigen complex and CD8 recognizes the MHC1. And the CD4 T cells bind to MHC2 because T cell receptor of the CD4 cells recognizes the peptide and then the MHC complex and CD4 recognizes the MHC2. Tight binding of a T cell receptor and the MHC plus the antigen is necessary for the T cell activate. MHC1 display cytosolic molecules and MHC2 displays extracellular molecules. This is how MHC1 displays cytosolic things. Here is the nucleus and here is the ER. MHC1 protein is made in the ER. An ER membrane has proteins called transported associated with antigen presenting or TAP. And these TAP proteins move small newly synthesized things into the ER and if this thing that entered the ER has a good affinity with an MHC then MHC will bind to this antigen and this complex will go fuse with the uh, cell surface. There are many MHC1s in the ER and uh, they're constantly binding to things and moving them um, on the surface of the cell. And T cells are constantly talking to uh, cells MHC1 and checking if the thing that the cell is displaying, the antigen, is non-self or problematic. In that case, the T cell will uh, end up eliminating the cell that has a problem. Almost all cells constantly display what they have in their cytosol to the CD8 T cells. Professional antigen presenting cells also have MHC1 and let the uh, CD8 T cells know if they have a problem in their cytosolic space. This is a macrophage. It is a professional antigen presenting cell. Here's a nucleus and then the ER. It also has the MHC1. It also has TAP. So cytosolic things are constantly moving into the ER and MHC1s are constantly moving to the cell membrane to display the cytosolic items. Professional antigen presenting cells also have MHC2, also made in the ER. And MHC2 is bound to a protein called class 2 associated 
invariant chain or clip and this clip will prevent other imported items from binding to the MHC2 and then this piece will butt off instead of going to the cell surface it's going to stay in a vesicle still bound to clip but when this macrophage eats extracellular things and take them in inside of the endosome and this endosome will fuse with this vesicle containing the MHC2 in this fused vesicle the MHC2 is going to try to bind to uh, these extracellular things that macrophage took in and if one of these things can bind to MHC2 well then that thing will replace the clip and then this let's say it's the triangle one and then this new complex will go fuse with the cell membrane and if this activates the CD4 T cell then CD4 T cell may send a signal to the cell and tell the cell to destroy everything that was MHC2 also travel with protein called the HLA-DM and HLA-DM in this fused vesicle bring in the uh, taken in extracellular stuff and replace the clip finally all HLA genes are on chromosome 6 and uh, to make the MHC1 protein mainly there are three HLA genes HLA A, B, C that make the MHC1 there are many genes that code for MHC2 protein parts like HLA DR, HLA DQ and HLA DP and on and on and on all of these make the MHC2 protein and HLA genes are very polymorphic so even within your own cell the chromosome that comes from fathers HLA A, B and C will be very different from and the difference in the HLA gene lead to the difference in HLA protein and different person have different efficiency at binding to cytosolic stuff as in the MHC1 and binding to extracellular things for the MHC2 and displaying these things to the uh, T cells. Lastly, dendritic cells are special antigen presenting cells because they have, like any other professional antigen presenting cells, MHC1 and MHC2. But these antigens can come from other cells maybe here's a cell that passed this piece of molecule to the dendritic cell and then the dendritic cell ended up presenting it on its surface with its own MHC molecules and this uh, receiving of antigen from other cells and presenting with the own MHC molecule is called uh, cross presentation